Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 2. Let's take one more example. Let's take one more question. The question says the radius of a circle is increasing uniformly at the rate of 3 cm per second. So the radius is increasing at rate of 3 cm per second. We define at which the area of the circle is increasing when radius is 10 cm. So let's draw a circle. So if this is R, let's suppose if this is R, the question says the radius is increasing. It is increasing like this. Since it is increasing, the circle is also increasing. If you see, the circle will expand. Why? Because the radius has increased. The radius will increase all the more, the circle will expand all the more. And thus the area will also increase for the circle. So the question says the radius of the circle with respect to time, that is change of radius of circle with respect to time, that is dr by dt is nothing but 3 cm per second. This is given. And what we are asked to find? We have to find change of area of circle with respect to time, right, where radius is 10 cm. This is what we have to find. Make it small r because I am taking small r everywhere. So dr by dt is 3 cm. We have to find d area by dt. So let's try to do this. Area is nothing but pi r square. So this is nothing but d of pi r square by dr where r is equal to 10. This is nothing but pi into r square became 2r and that's all. There is no dr by dr here because I am differentiating r with respect to r only. And this, sorry, I have to find d a by dt, correct? Since it is dt, here dr by dt component will come, will come. Why? I will tell you why. I wrongly took as dr, if it is dr, see, d of pi r square by dr will be 2 pi r, correct. But d of pi r square by dt will be 2 pi r dr by dt. Good that I made a mistake so that you can understand the difference here. So if you are differentiating r with r, there is no dr by dr component. But if you are differentiating r with t, then you get dr by dt component. This is what we get. Correct. So dr by dt is something which is unknown to us. What should we do? We can use this formula. dr by dt is nothing but 3. Correct. And r is 10. So let's put the value pi into 2 into r that is 10 into dr by dt that is 3. Correct. So this becomes 60 pi. What will be the unit? I am talking about change of area with respect to time. So this is nothing but and this is centimeter. So this is nothing but centimeter square per second. Correct. Why it is like this? Because I am talking about change of area with respect to second time. So it is centimeter square per second. Please note the unit is very much important to understand also. So the question is you have a circle of radius r, the radius is increasing, the area is also increasing. Rate of change of radius with respect to time is dr but it is given and we are asked to find rate of change of area with respect to time. If we did that we just replace the area formula with pi r square and we solve this to get this value as 2 pi r dr by dt. I know the value of r, r is equal to 10, I know the value of dr by dt given 3, put all the values, I got 60 pi and then I found the unit, unit came out to be 6 centimeter, centimeter square per second because I am talking about change of area, this is area with respect to time, this is second, correct. 
Let's take one more example. An edge of a variable cube is increasing at the rate of 3 cm per second. We have to find how fast is the volume of the cube increasing where edge has a length. So let's assume this is my cube. Correct. And let's assume the length is all L. Now this length is increasing. Everywhere length is increasing actually, right? So the new cube we should get will be something like this, I think. If I'm correct, we'll get something like this. The new cube. Everywhere it will increase actually. This is the new cube. Correct? Yeah, this is the new cube. If my length is increasing in this direction. So the question says if you see the edge of the variable cube, the cube is variable is increasing at this rate. So dl by dt. Because the edge, change of edge with respect to time, you see it is per second. Correct? So it is dl by dt. Why it is dl by dt? Because it is centimeter per second it is increasing at the rate of this so dl by dt is nothing but 3 this is given we have to find how fast is the volume increasing that is i have to find dv by dt where l is equal to 10 centimeter this is what we have to find now we know the formula of v is nothing but L cube simple so we can write rewrite this as nothing but d of L cube by dt this is nothing but 3 L square into d L by dt where L is equal to 10 let's put the values here 3 into L square that is 3 square sorry 10 square because L is 10 here 3 into 10 square into dl by dt that is 3 this is nothing but 900 what is the unit change in volume by time that is centimeter cube volume by time that is second so 900 centimeter cube per second is the answer for this so this was a simple question where I was told that the edge of a cube is increasing at the rate of 3 cm per second. So it is plus 3 dl by dt cm per second. Volume I know is L cube. I have to find dv by dt. I have to find how fast. If you see fast and slow is all time dependent. So I have to find dv by dt. And that's what I have found. V is equal to L cube I put. I got equation in terms of L and dl by dt i know the value of l i know value of dl by dt put the value and get the answer very simple let's take one more example of rate of change of quantities a stone is dropped in a quiet lake and a wave moves in a circle at a speed of 5 cm per second at instant when radius of the circular wave is 8 cm we have to find how fast is the area changing so let's visualize this this is a pond and somebody has dropped a stone here the moment a stone is dropped you see the wave like this correct so you drop a stone from here and you see the wave like this and wave if you see is nothing but a circle there's a circle there's again a circle so it's all circular shape so what do you see it says that it, it creates a circle which move at the rate of 5 centimeter per second 5 centimeter per second so if you see this is nothing but length and this is time so i can say that from this that dr by dt is nothing but 5. now if the radius change if you see what i'm saying is rate of flow of wave is nothing but rate of change of radius with respect to time if you see the radius was let's suppose here this guy r this became this is delta r let's suppose right because the radius is increasing so 
the increase in radius with time is nothing but change uh, is nothing but wave speed correct the question says that the speed of the wave that moves in circle is 5 cm per second and that is nothing but dr by dt that is change of radius with respect to time because the wave moves in this direction and the radius also increase in this direction that is the critical part here to understand if you understand this part the question is simple now that we know the question is how fast is the enclosing area increasing that is the question is asking us to find change of area with respect to time area is nothing but pi r square that is d of pi r square by dt correct and we have to find this when the radius is 8 cm so this is nothing but r is going to be 8 so if you differentiate this guy this is nothing but 2 pi r dr by dt where r is equal to now let's put the value 2 pi r is 8 given into dr by dt is 5 we know so this becomes 80 pi and this is change of area with respect to time and this is centimeter so this is centimeter square per second thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again